Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty, back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to go over the NBA 2K21 update number two court side report. So we did get a new update today in my team, and not just my team, in NBA 2K21. But it does affect my team as well. And we're going to be going over the whole report today and kind of my breakdown of it, what I see, the pros and cons of the update. Before we go any further, if you are new to the channel and have not yet, please smash the subscribe button as you're on the road to 35,000 subscribers. So hopping right into it, it says the report obviously was today, so you do know it is today. So I'm going to read through it, go over kind of some points that I see that I think are important within the my team mode, and kind of break it down for you guys. The visual kind has been continuing their efforts in improving and polishing NBA 2K21, and we're excited to share the second patch is now available. Good. You guys need to improve the game because it's in a bad situation right now. It's in a bad place. Brings plenty of fixes and adjustments. Okay, good. Good. We need them, including a slew of balance changes to dribbling that expand your options for breaking down your opponents. Okay, I don't care about that, really. Fixed an issue, issue that would lead players getting removed from online matches when greening shots. No, I, I had heard about this, that, that people were getting kicked from greening too much or whatever, but I hadn't ever experienced it. But I have seen that PA volume, I don't really care. Player likeness improvements for Damian Lillard. Okay. Improved art, lighting, and text readability for various menus throughout the game. Okay. Fixed a hang that could have happen upon joining the 2K. Okay, I, that's not, none of these are my team. Fixed a gr graphical issue in the top. Okay, I don't care about that either. Okay, all these are my core in, 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 in pro-am type stuff. I haven't seen anything with my team yet. So we got tall scrunch shots and disappear when applying new tattoos. Fixed the core hang when they would happen occasionally. See this, none of this match matters. Fix the display shoot on the boost stand doesn't matter. All these are neighborhood. Move park dribbles to L3, left stick click for more consistent dribbling controls. Now, I was in TJ stream, stream earlier and he said something about the L3 uh, being park dribbles in TTO. Now, I don't know how that's gonna work, but hopefully, I hadn't noticed park dribbles in TTO after the first patch, so I don't know if they're back now and you have, there's a different method to do them. I'm not sure. Improve frame rate performance for the Switch version or fix the PC only issue. Okay, gameplay. This is what we're looking for, gameplay-wise. Yes, yes, this is what we're here for. Increase the size of the shot meter based on feedback from the community. Okay, but here's the issue I have with that. I'm fine with increasing the size of the shot meter, but the shot meter without without the shot stick isn't isn't something i'm gonna use so at this point it's it doesn't matter for me unless i go back to which the stick is, is the meta it's just in my opinion not it reduced first step acceleration aka speed boost out of certain moves drill moves see i played a game of online earlier today and i still thought the speed boost animation was in the game so i don't know if they just fixed like the quick first step part of it or what they fixed but the 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 speed boost out of the cr uh, listen, if you guys know what I'm talking about, you guys know how overpowered that can be. Lower the effectiveness of pull-up jump shots. That needed to be nerfed, but hopefully that's with the stick more than anything because it's pretty easy to green mid-range jump shots or even moving jump shots with the stick, even if the stick is nerfed. Fixed an issue that was causing CPU big men defenders to get matched up against guards. Okay, so hopefully that means the Clay Thompson glitch is fixed forever because the Clay Thompson glitch should have never been in the game. I don't know why it was in the game, but it's still it was still in the game the last I knew. So we'll see. Add the ability for more moves to yield ankle breakers and defensive reactions. Okay, I don't really know how to feel about that one right there. Improve responsiveness of shots coming from certain post moves. Post, I don't really care about that. Excellent release jumper animations now play with. Excellent release jumper animations now play with green center aim shot on the pro stick. Okay, so now you get animations from green with the pro stick is what I'm hearing. Fix the pro, sh pro stick shooting exploit that allowed for easy aiming when holding the pro stick prior to receiving the catch. Listen, I don't know what this means, but you guys need to pack patch the fact that if somebody literally has aimbot it's green every single time I, I i don't understand what all of this is but if you can't fix the simple thing of an automatic green for holding straight down on the right stick 250k is gonna be a mess listen man you guys got you guys got what 12 days now to fix that because i do not feel like having a guy have aimbot and beat me in the 250k qualifier i just don't feel like that's what i want to go through but 
it is what it is at least they fixed something with pro stick shooting i don't know what it is but there basically is aimed by general improvements to defensive movement including the more responsive shifts cut and stops good okay defensive movement i need it i need the i need all of the improvements to defensive movement that i can get now we'll see when i play the game and, and, and keep playing the game if i notice the improvement to the defensive movement but what i will say is the movement it was bad it was the defensive movement was bad i could still play defense but it was bad it was bad as a whole so really gameplay wise what i'm looking at increased size of the shot meter for some people is going to be big the the reduced step acceleration it's going to be interesting to see if that's really a thing or if it's not a thing because i i used it today and it you know i was still getting the speed boost animation so we'll see effectiveness of pull up jump shots supposedly splash if you guys know who splash is which you guys should plays in the league he was green and off dribble left and right and posted on twitter so i saw that this morning too so we'll see we'll just see the defensive and movement needs to be fixed though that for me is one of the most important things that i see okay my career i'm not really gonna go over any of that because in my opinion that doesn't matter my team adjusted single player triple threat and triple threat online difficulties based on community feedback so does this mean single player triple threat offline is going to be easy now so you could you can maybe do your evos through there i don't know but i heard triple threat online now is super super easy to say the least like the the difficulty might be rookie might be pro i don't know but it's easy to 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 make whites now and it's there's just no competitive really modes in the game anymore because if you play unlimited it's on an easy difficulty if you play triple threat online it's on an easy difficulty so i don't really know how i feel about that added a new page to the back of player cards that lists the upgradable badges for that player i like this fact i like the fact that they added that because now you know what badges players can get now i hope it's added to like 2k database as well so when i break down cards i can see that and take that into consideration when i say how good players are but i do like that a lot fix the hang that could happen during the lineup matchups overlay from the domination menu i heard about that that's how some people were getting i think i think they fixed the thing that some people were making a ruby damian lillard into like a diamond and in enable to get bob Cousy, so that's a good thing to just to just get that game done fixed an xbox one only issue that allowed game clock to continue counting down while inbounding the ball i didn't even know that was still in the game i know it was in the game last year didn't know it was in the game this year but i hope it's gone because i'm on xbox one this year right now pre-250 and i haven't ever done it or haven't noticed it but last year is a big thing when people were grinding for the kobe larry bird that people were doing that not that it's that big of a deal but it is kind of tough improved physics for ball drops i haven't noticed that many problems with the ball drops but what i will say is i'm just glad it's quicker than it was last year last year the ball drops on this game were just so slow it literally took literally took like two to three minutes at times to get one ball drop done so i'm glad the 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 faster ball drops go the better that for me at least uh but that's really all i see as far as the mod team menu so what i don't see is the fact that badges are still glitch you can't search for specific badges in the game that's not fixed doesn't they say defensive movements fixed so we'll see you know we will see if my corners drop for no reason if, if my corners drop every play for no reason i'm gonna get upset too okay but supposedly they fix defensive movement which they needed to do and it there's they still got a long ways to go as far as fixing the game they need to fix unlimited shooting in the game because the whites that go in on this game are ridiculous that's the only really problem i have with shooting particularly is it's just super super easy to shoot the ball in unlimited and now triple threat online is easy as well so they need to obviously fix that but other than that i don't really see much here it's like the only the one thing i will say that i like is the fact that they added the fact that they added the the back of the players cards in which you can see the upgradable badges i think that's a very very solid addition to the two to 2k in general and i feel like it's going to make at least the job for me a lot easier so i can see what badges players have what are still upgradable you know what badges do they put on players instead of certain other badges i like that fact a lot but overall i don't see too much today to really write home about these patch doesn't this patch really doesn't seem like it's that big of a patch and it's gonna make that much of a difference revolving my team in general just know triple threat online offline now expect it to be easier and just really there's not uh there's not a lot else to really take away from from this other than that triple threat online is also very very easy 
triple th or my team unlimited is still going to be easy there's still a lot that 2k needs to fix within the game i think me and a lot of other guys in the community agree with that but the fact that they are releasing these updates the courtside reports means that they're at least trying to make at least some sort of upgrades to the game which i can respect that but guys drop your comments down below what do you think 2k needs to update within their game what are the biggest flaws that still need to be updated i dropped a video on that the other day obviously i still think there's a ton wrong with the game but if they could start with defensive movement that's a big part of it guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video of me breaking down the course i report and what i see drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day